Monday. All right. Well, did you know today is National Mac and Cheese Day? That's right. Tina is in the Good Day Kitchen with a very special guest ready to celebrate. Tina. It's Chef Mel. Hey, Chef hey. Mel. How Hi. you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Tell everybody a little bit about you and what you do. Well, I'm a local chef. Um, I cook um, for different people, some celebrities, whatever. Okay. And, and cater too. Yes. All right. Catering is also available. National Mac and Cheese Day. So she says... Do you want me to show you some different mac and cheeses? <laughs> of course, <laughs> duh. Well, we're going to start right over here with the roux the bechamel yes. sauce. Yes. So to get your bechamel started for your mac and cheese, you just need butter, not margarine, butter. Um, I also add cream cheese in it. It's not required, but I do just to make it a little bit creamier. Okay. Um, flour and milk. I also um, do an alternative with milk. I use heavy cream. Mm -hmm. I like my mac and cheese creamy. Mm -hmm. Eggs are optional. Mm. Okay. And then once you get started, you add your butter first. Then you brown it, um, stir in your flour, whisk it together, then you can throw your ingredients. And it just depends on how you want it um, consistent, like your desired consistency. So I like mine like this, mm -hmm. and that's how you do it. Wow. It takes a literally about mm, maybe 30 minutes okay. to get a good bechamel. You yes. have to keep stirring too? Yes. Okay. You should stir. So it doesn't get all clumpy yes. and gross. Yes. So what did you come up with here on this National Mac and Cheese Day? So for this one, this is our best seller. This is a seafood mac and cheese. It has shrimp, crab, crawfish, and mm. lobster. Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> my, my tummy got a little pang. Like, Ow, that's, a lot. that's a lot. That's a lot. It has a Cajun butter in there. So the same way I do the bechamel, I add a Cajun butter to it. So it has wow. a little kick to it. Sometimes a lot of people like to add bacon on top of there. So I just did green onions, no bacon, because this one has bacon. This one, okay, what's this and one? And this one is fried chicken, oh. bacon, oh. and buffalo. Oh my. Yes. Wow. Mm. <laughs> so it's the same thing, um, What's just adding one? different toppings. This one is a burnt-in brisket mac and cheese. Oh. Yes. Burnt? With the hot, yes, with the hot honey barbecue sauce. I'll take that one. <laughs> okay. So and then to sample? wash it down, oh, I yeah. got a cherry limeade. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Do you guys want a sample? Yes. Come on Cars. over here. All right. Yes, All right. Yes, yes. I would like a, a little tiny bit. For the burnt in. I mean tiny bit. Tiny. Okay. I'll let that. you do the scooping. Mm. That one caught my attention. Look at that cheese pull. Cheese pull. Yeah. You don't mind, do you? No, go for thank it. You, go for it. Spoon. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank what you. would you like? Um, whatever <laughs> ones they're not trying. I'll do the other one. The, chi mm. the chicken? The yeah. chicken. The chicken. And buffalo and yes. what else? And bacon. So you don't stir it all in together, you put it on top. Yes. Toppings. And then you can bake, but baking is optional. It depends on your preference. And do you use like the breadcrumbs and all that? No, I actually no, do not use don't. any breadcrumbs. No. no. Okay. Mm. All right. This one is amazing. Thank all right. you. This one, mm. Thank the you. shrimp. Oh my God, you're gonna put me to sleep. <laughs> you're gonna have wow. a hiatus after. <laughs> this is good. This is so Thank good. You. And you like to use a small macaroni. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Or some people I know they like to use the shells, but I like to use the elbow macaroni. Oh my gosh, I love it. The chicken's fried ahead yes. of time. Very good. Just, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm taking this back to the desk. <laughs> Thank Thank you, Go for it. Thank Tell you. everybody, Chef Mel, when you're going to be at the State Fair. I'm going to be at the State Fair on Tuesday. You can catch me there at 5 o'clock doing a live demo. Of? What are you going to do? Jambalaya. Oh. That's also going to have seafood, too. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. And can we Thanks get all Tina. these recipes <laughs> online, I yes. guess, huh? Yes. How, I can actually what? send them to you, too, if you like. How do people okay. follow you and reach out to you? On Instagram at ChefMelCO. And you can, my link is in the bio. You can email me. You can text me. It's all there. Sounds good. Doesn't it look beautiful? Oh, so I'm good. Beautiful. You, you like and all of these have that sauce. Yes. All like right. You and then you just have the separate toppings. Right. You're going to okay. eat this and go take a nap. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, and you know the whole crew, the crew is drooling right now. You know that, right? Right? <laughs> They're going to say send plates to the back. That's right. Chef Mel, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, back over so you. So good. Thank you so much. All right, guys, uh, kick away the Sunday blues and enjoy summer with a local event at Doco. Later, we're checking out the Kimpton Summer Soiree. And Marlene, the plant lady, is here to answer all your concerns with plants in the heat this summer. You don't want to miss it. All this and more when we come on back.